this, this so far we're 36 minutes in uh, we're gonna go back to the compound uh, I don't have anything specific to do with the compound this time but what I do want to do is I want to take a look at this veneer cipher again Hey everybody, I'm Nigger here and welcome back to Receiver 2. I am sitting in my gamer chair. And oh, it's so comfortable. Uh, it's it's not as like soft and cushy as I expected. Uh, but it's like very supportive. I don't know. I I'm still I'm still getting used to it. It's definitely different than I was basically using a really crappy office chair before this. Um like, it wasn't terrible, but, like, it didn't have lumbar support or anything. So, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm really sitting up. And I think that that's incredibly helpful. All the bullets in there were fired. Getting it to the right spot in the cylinder. Oh, this is. They're using a cipher and a code word, and I just, I don't know either of them. Now, I could attempt, so the thing is, I don't know uh, what ciphers they might be using. So, th there are some really simple ciphers. Uh, some really simple ciphers that you could use uh, to possibly break this. Um, but... Or no, no ciphers. So, so, so ciphers um, are basically just the method by which you've encoded a message, and there are a bunch of different ones. Um, and all the good ones uh, are relied on on a keyword. So we we, we notice that there's a, a keyword, right? Um, same cipher and same code word. So basically, when you're when you're using a cipher, so there's some really uh, easy ciphers like replacement ciphers, uh, which is basically every letter is replaced by a different letter, but everything else is the same. So, um, so like this word here, like every E would be the same actual letter. Um, there are specific ones like, um, is it a Caesar cipher? I very much could be wrong on that. Where it's basically just the alphabet rotated. So like if you replace A with B, you're replacing B with C, C with D. Or if you're like you could all like you can do anything like you could reverse the alphabet, right? So every A is replaced by a Z, every M is replaced by an N. The problem with those is they require or they depend upon uh, security through obscurity, which is basically if you don't know how the cipher is done, you can't solve it. But it's pretty simple, right? It's it's not. It's not difficult to figure out, and it's also not difficult to crack in various ways. Uh, primarily by like, so this is a good chunk of text. Let's just, let's just say this is a good chunk of text. Uh, if you were to put this into, or if you were to just count all the letters, um, you could likely figure out which, which one, if it were a replacement cipher, you could very easily figure out which one is E, right? You could very easily figure out which one is E because E is the most used vowel. Um, and like so, so like basically, if you if you think about uh, Wheel of Fortune, R, S, T, L, and E are like the most common letters. So you can start there. You can also do some interesting things like, hey, you know, three letter word that's letter letter different letter. I actually can't think of any 
that are that way, which implies that it's not like, but, but so like ECD, right? The, how many three letter, I mean, how many three letter words that get used pretty consistently are there? Um, because if it were a replacement cipher, you would see the same pattern over and over again. So like if this was, if, if uh, RWO was and, you'd see RWO showing up all over the place um, because it's the same everywhere. But uh, the a good cipher is one that uses a code word. And that's because it's basically like a password for your computer or for anything really. Um, the method is known or the method could be known. Like you could basically be so told, hey, this is cipher x which I, I don't actually know any of the name names of the ciphers that use code words off the top of my head but if you were to if you were to know what cipher it is that wouldn't really help you because you would need the password to actually solve it so until we find out uh what uh what the code word is and what the cipher is we uh we won't know um, so yeah, basically, it makes me wonder if there are hints in here. Okay, so here's, right, uh, find these weird encrypted messages, maybe they're clues from some peeps, send us bullets and guns. Um, I don't think... I don't think that we've been told I don't think we've been given enough hints about what the code word might be like part of the reason why I'm fairly confident that so it, it definitely looks like this is some sort of um, in place cipher like we're not changing words is because of this apostrophe like this is weed this is w e apostrophe d i think i'm trying to think of any other words um that have two letters and apostrophe and then another letter because it's not i've it's, it's not wheel it's, yeah I, th I think it has to be a weed uh, but yeah, so, but without, without those words, like, we're basically going to have to be given those words and likely told what cipher. Oh, right, here you go. It's not a Caesar shift cipher. Oh. Well, okay, we're, we're, we're being told what type of cipher it is. So, a visionary cipher. Uh... Is a method of encrypting alphabetic text by using a series of interwoven Caesarian ciphers based on the letters of a keyword. It's a polyalphabetic substitution. So basically, um, depending on the keyword, you rotate the letters. So, so let's say, um, uh, let's say your keyword is is abc so you take abc you repeat it over and over and over again so abc 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 and you use that to encode the message so if this were abc if this were abc um this would actually be an l so so, so basically you, t you take what letter it would actually be so actually let's let's just look at uh this message so if it was ABC, um, A implies that basically if the letter is an A, what keyword is what it would become. So A would become A under if it were the if it if if this were the for the first letter would be A. So basically A gets applied to the first letter, B gets applied to the second letter, C gets applied to the third letter, and because that's the end of our keyword, it goes back. A gets applied to the fourth letter. B gets applied to the fifth, C gets applied to the sixth. Repeat ad infinitum. And which letter um, it is basically um, 
b basically determines how how far how far you go. All right, like so. That's it. An A is a shift of zero. A B is a shift of one. A C is a shift of two. So this I would be an I. The F would become a G, and the I would become a K. If that makes any sense. So, basically, if, if we were to type this out, which, oh man, I'm going to do. So, I actually don't think apostrophes get translated. So, we, we could actually, we could crack this. I wish that I could record this uh, easier. Also, I'm bad at typing. Um, if I'm typing words, I'm not as bad, uh, but when it's random ass letters, all right, um, so we know it's English, we know it translates. Um, we don't know the key length or size. So we could, okay, so if this is in fact weed. So we there's actually a vineyard square, which is a thing that basically says, so I can go, I can go to L and I can go, or I can go over to W and I can see where it's L and it's L at P. You know, maybe, maybe I'll take the extra effort of putting the square up on screen right now. So that would imply that the partial key is P, uh, X, that an E is H. And if, if the keyword is actually a keyword, then or like is, is actually something we can understand, then we might be able to guess more of it. Uh, okay, it's not weed because that's PHJ. Oh no, it's not H. E. Wait, oh, right. Um, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking in the wrong direction. So, um, so where we would we get L, right. Okay, I messed up X, X, E. No, that's H. Why is the vineyard cipher doing it wrong? Am I just, am I just stupid? Oh yeah, when E becomes X, I am. It's T. That's worse. Alright, because that's PT as our first. Uh, uh, okay, so F. No, we want uh, D becoming U, which is R. Yeah. So this might be something else, the KZH, H-E-I-H-M-E-Y. That might, like, basically, if we can find... Like we should be, we should be able to crack this. We, we should be able to crack this. Um, there are enough capital letters and things that we should be able to crack it to some degree. Uh, we're not gonna do it here though. We're not gonna do it here now. Oh God, we're already 10 minutes in and I have done literally nothing. Hopefully, if we find the last disc, it'll give us a good hint. All right, so there, there's a giant uh, lesson about cryptography to you. If you already knew everything that I just said, I apologize. But if not, I hope you learned something. Um, that's kind of why you know I'm doing this, so I can spread some knowledge. 
ciphers and like cryptography is really interesting. I hate everything about that room. Gotta be a bunch of ceiling mounted shit, right? That one's spinning. There's one drone. The, the one drone makes me not want to pursue that direction. Well, I've got eyes on this one. It's a start. I think, it, I think it is a little bit of a mistake to aim center of mass. On the turrets, but at that distance I don't think I can pull anything else off. So I know we've got a spinner right there. I'd really like to address that from the other room when I'm closer. I don't want to be doing it while going up a s upstairs necessarily. It'd be nice if I could. I'm gonna check and see if I can get an angle on it. There's a tape somewhere over there. Wow, that's a lot of bullets. I'm deaf or dumb? I... There's 
So that did not look like it was upstairs. Or Is this? I really don't know. It's gotta be somewhere, right? Oh. While Colt won most of the U.S. military contracts, Ask question, the Smith get and Wesson Model 10 remained the weapon of choice for U.S. police forces until the 70s, when they switched to high-capacity Wonder 9 pistols. The Model 10 did win a few U.S. military contracts, including the Air Force, Coast Guard, and Navy. In World War II, air crews used the Model 10 revolver both for self-defense and for uh, emergency signaling with tracer rounds. In the 20s, police were facing significant resistance by prohibition gangsters and found that the 38 long Colt round just wasn't strong enough. Oh, buddy. Smith and Wesson started rechambering their Model 10s for the slightly more powerful 38 Special cartridge, but the converted models were not quite right, and uh, fired cartridges had a tendency to get stuck from the increased pressure and slow down reloading. Which is always bad. Alright, I think I want to approach this from above. Am I crazy? Am I hearing a second tape? No, I'm not hearing a second tape, I am crazy. I know there is a turret across the way. There's also a drone. Was that a t was that a security camera? I think I'm accidentally in the right place here. What is seeing me? Something is seeing me that I'm I'm not seeing. I 
That's the crash drone, isn't it? Technically shouldn't drive by her again. Alright. I can't get up there. My options are destroy. Oh, he made the shot. I tell you. I want to aim at the back balloon. <laughs> Doing good today. Doing good today. It's the gamer chair. Improving focus. I'm pretty sure that's not it. I'm just, uh, I have gotten better over time. Wait. Did this drone crash into this gun? The rivalry between Colt and Smith and Wesson is as old as time itself. Did I multi-kill this? Assuming that the universe was created in 1852. Now, Wesson was largely unknown at the time and still reeling from his brother's sudden death and the seizure of their gunsmithing tools by creditors. He partnered with Daniel Levitt to carefully work around Colt's patents to create a slightly different revolver based on his brother's ideas and had started to successfully rebuild his business when Sam Colt sensed the threat to his monopoly and drove Weston back to bankruptcy with lawsuits and, and legal fees. But when Colt's That's patent true. ran out, Weston came back with a vengeance, and the Smith and Weston versus Colt revolver debate continues to this day. Even though the modern differences consist of whether the cylinder rotates clockwise or counterclockwise and whether the cylinder release should be pulled or pushed. And ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and how they feel in the individual's hand. My sensitivity is still way too high right now. I just lowered it. Now I can make more precise movements. Kid has blue lights. Something over there, though, is actually a gun, though. Don't know if it's above or below.
dangerous. What the fuck? Something just broke glass, and I'm concerned. Alright. I'm gonna wait for this drone's view to pass before I take care of it. second I step out, it's gonna sweep, so... It's going from left to right, which is bad for me. But it's so close. It's jam, so I don't actually know what it can do. Oh, hello. I was right, there's another gun. However, this arcade offers no way down. I have to go through the previous room. I'm okay with four shots. Three is is mostly my limit. I can get behind it. Is this stupid? Maybe? The problem is I don't want to accidentally pick up that tape and have it be a bad tape while I'm in the middle of hacking. This meaningless guess what? It's a bad tape. anymore. There's no point to anything. We're, we're just killing time until the heat death of the universe. Nobody will remember us. Nobody cares if, if, if I live or die. All of humanity is just mold on an orange. I don't even know why I'm writing this. Goodbye. Still hate it. Still hate it. Oh. This building. We're done here. This, oh, this place, it doesn't make much sense. Like, while I know this isn't the same room as before, it still feels familiar. It's more like a fictional place than the real world. It's oh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and, and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. All right. We have once again reached an awakened state. So we still gotta win one more. 
Uh, which is, you know, a thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, this, this So far we're 36 minutes in. Uh, we're gonna go back to the compound. Uh, I don't have anything specific to do with the compound this time, but what I do want to do is I want to take a look at this veneer cipher again. So, here's the thing. When it comes to veneer ciphers, so obviously we're, we're missing one of these notes, but this, but, but Charlene, wait, who's the one? All right. Um, it won't leave me. I can't tell anything about it. I was doing my receiver work, finding tapes, seeing things arriving. Uh, Don't trust other receivers. Paradise. See, see, here's the thing. What if Paradise is... Interesting. PAR is is right. Oh god, I have no good way of, of, of showing this to you without this just being absolutely destroyed. Um uh, so PAR puts in uh weed. The W E apostrophe D. Oh never mind, I typed that wrong. LXU. So paradise, isn't it? So so the thing is, uh, if we figure out what any single one of these is, these capitalized things, I wonder, I wonder if it's stuff that Charlene has already capitalized. Nice move, Charlene. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, so... Hmm. So the key is not likely anything that shows up in here. It's Possible. That okay, so the question is whether one of these people is leaving these. So we still have one Luis, one Charlene, two Henry. A whole bunch of mica and a whole bunch. Oh, Alex is the one in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, secret notes. Right, these are the ones that require you to jump around and stuff, and I don't trust because I don't want to accidentally die from jumping too far. So I think. <sighs> then we destroy paradise. Yeah, paradise is is not right. Okay, so um. Words with apostrophes. I guess it could be it's. Oh, it's totally it's, isn't it? I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. Alright, so it's. If we want to... 
Gotta bring up my browser. So it's uh, this is what, once again. I'm probably just gonna take the the cipher and throw it up, or the uh, the cipher square, and throw it up on uh, on the screen here. I'm gonna be editing this right after I finish recording it, so hopefully I will remember and not be lazy. Because um, you know I'll yeah I'll be more inclined to do so because I won't forget and I won't be running out of time. Okay, so LX apostrophe U. So if we go, so, so the L, so we want I to become L, so that's D. We want X, or no, we want T to become X, which is E. All right, all right. We want S to become U, which is C. Is it like decrypt? Because that would be dumb. No, it's not decrypt. But DEC seems to be a reasonable start for a key. Um, so the problem is then it becomes three letter words, right? So, and we also don't know the length of the key, but we can, okay, I, I need to actually type both of these out, which is gonna take some time, but I'm gonna pull up notepad. So LX apostrophe U, LO, E, C, D, E, F, R, M, R, W, is that a comma or a period? That's a period. Uh, P, W, V, H. So, so one of the other things that could be interesting is if, if we see bursts of three letters uh, that like appear to be okay, we end up in uh, an interesting situation where we know that the, the key is a multiple of three, although that's gonna be hard to, to really see. Uh, y, A, Z, H, K, Z, H, H, T, I, I, H, N, Y. Oh, this takes so long, W, S, Lib A M C D L X Y M B C. I really need to not mess this up either. Um, at least not the early ones. U Y Z K V Z K H. These are so like when the letters are random, that gets. So the other thing that we could do is we could also plug in these letters. Um, and change the the length of the key basically um, and basically see when the next set of letters makes sense uh, and that could give us the length which is probably what I'm going to do oh, the, uh, oh shoot I uh, messed this up where am I uh, DYB OLVJ there's no I OLVJH M U E V J X Y V U J C G. Yeah, I'm I'm really bad at typing, uh, especially words that are not words. Because like I'm I'm. Why is that E capitalized? That E has to be an I. R E V G D R X L R L G P X W K Z H C C V M O L V T H R G J I I've probably typed enough that I could 
do this, but I'm gonna have to do this anyway at some point if I want to decode this. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to keep, actually I'm not gonna have to keep it. Uh, I don't know, maybe if I'm feeling spicy, if we figure this out, I'll do a cool little animation on this, but I probably won't have time. Uh, actually, that's a decent idea. I'm 100% certain that I could look this up online, but I don't want to. After after I solve it, presuming I solve it, uh, I'm going to see if anybody else has, uh, but I'm sure that they have. I generally don't go as deep into games as other people. L-E-K-T-H-I-I. VJ. Cool. That took way too long. Uh, I'm saving. I'm actually going to hit save on this. Um, and I'm going to put it in my receiver to uh, coded note. It's dumb, but I'm putting it in there. All right. So, so if we take this entire text and plug it in and hit decrypt, Okay, it okay, so 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 it says it's OSM BYB bad OYPT period space nus comma we Okay it appears so after we So if it's if it's a nine letter key one two five six seven eight Wait, uh, so, so, so basically what I do is I'm going to pull a letter off. I'm going to start with the first three. Oh, no. Okay, so... There's there is a oh there's an automatic decryption button that I pressed, and uh, I thought it would just continue to um, decode it. Uh, but yeah, not not what I wanted. So basically, if I pull one letter off at a time. it becomes clear no don't automatically decrypt would you stop oh I accidentally clicked something I know I know only a partial key okay so every three rena ooh, ooh, wait wait mere reneg no because only three letters could possibly be right so it definitely seems like it's a multiple of three. But it can't be three because it doesn't make sense. So. Um, now the problem, the problem is I saw, I saw, I saw and I'm sad. Whoops, no, stop it. This site is not the most convenient to use. Okay, so if we know if we know that every it's every night. So that's it's bad. So that means it has to be nine. It has to be nine. 
because I think th I think that's bad. I think that's just supposed to be bad. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, okay, so nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Right. Okay. That's that's where it says we. That. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. So that word is the seven letter word. S U R. S U R. I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's T H I. So that means this. This word is probably this. So we want an S to become a W. Uh, e. So D E C E. And now we got it's N T K. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't, I, I can't do that. Um, okay, using only a partial key. Can I do I use question mark? Okay, so uh, one, two, three, I don't know if this will actually work. Game. I I yell at the game, but I. I'm mad at the website. Um, it it cracked it for me, and I'm upset. I wanted it, so I put in question marks in the knowing only a partial key. Uh, and it's like, so it, I wanted it to just translate and not try and crack it, and it, it cracked it for me, which is not what I wanted to do. Um, but now I know what it is. Uh, that said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave with, with DEC. Um, uh, see, I know it's nine letters. I, I want it to only translate. Yeah, it's, it's being obnoxious. I want it to only translate. So I, okay. So I guess what I should do is I should just put A's. So one, two, three, four, five. So right now in the translator, I've got it as D-E-C-E, because -E, I think that's what we figured out, and then five A's, because the A's don't uh, rotate anything. The A's don't rotate anything. So so then we can continue to look at uh, words. So we've got this. So this uh, unintelligible and uh and that's a t so one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's an e d r e yeah that that doesn't work D R E five six seven eight nine T O P U. Okay, so so it says to pub, but it's probably to put. So we want to change a T into a B. That's an I. So we replace the next E with an I, and that's actually going to buy us our first or our second word probably. This is taking, why, why is it taking so long for you to decrypt this? It's taking a really long time for it to run this decryption. I'm going to refresh the page. All right, I think my internet and or computer absolutely crapped itself. Oh, yeah, cool. My internet crapped itself. Um, oh, no, it's back. Just a hiccup, I suppose. 
hit decrypt and said, it's new. This is uh, N O. Oh, right, because, yeah, it's an A there. So N O O. So three letter words starting with N O. So Noah, no, nor, not now. Knob, knock. So it's probably not or now. Um, let's just start with not and see if other things make sense because that's that's basically how we have to do it. So we want an O to turn into a T. Oh my gosh, why did I? Right. An O, no, it's sorry, a T to turn into an O. That is a V. So we replace that A and we check it out. It's not ECD bad new. Oh, okay. So it's NCD BAD. Oh, sorry, it's not. We don't know this. Yeah, ECD bad NEW W. That's that's gotta be news. So we want an S to become a W. It's an E. So so far the key is literally deceive AA. That's what we've got. So this seems accurate. It's not ACD bad news. Uh, RWS. Uh, Right, that's that's correct. Wait, is it? Oh right, RW is both wrong. Oh I have that I have that typed in wrong. That's PW. I was like, that's not translated right. Let me go ahead and fix that. Let's see, this is why being bad at typing is, is dangerous. Alright. So uh, do, 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 do. P W V. Uh, we B A R E C Q. Is that b barely? Because the next word is survive. We get all of survive. So it's got to be barely. It's got to be barely. So, so we want an L to become a C. Uh, which is R. So it is deceiver. And then we've got one last letter, which is a Q. We wanted S. No. Uh, y. Y to become a Q, which is S. Yeah. I figured it would be deceivers at that point. So the note says. It's not all bad news. Yes, we barely survive in this place, and the threat used the dreaming to put fill it with nasty surprises. Did, uh, did I type that wrong? Uh, WS, so the dreaming, WS, RYB, AMCD, LX, YMBC, RR. Yeah, no, I know. To put fill it with nasty surprises. But there's another faction from reality trying to help us. They are the benefactors, and they are the source of the tapes, the ammo, the guns, and also the targeted messages to help us become aware of other dangers. So that's that one. This one is going to be exactly the same, uh, same key anyway. EC, PSC, TSL, Sovgelt, OEGS. EDSCO, VV, Samvaskai, Vru, T, Umilb, question mark, VRU. Oh, that's funny. The VRU showed up twice. I want, So part of me wonders if like that weird bit in the middle, the whole to put fill it with nasty surprises, is designed to make it easier for us to uh, figure it out. Um, VRY. So, so the funny part is, 
this is clearly reality A. Like, it has to be. It has to be. Uh, anyway, uh, Umilb Vru, which I did VRY. Vru, TH, MPK, Ojsu, DLX, VPM, Mitwzgva. Re NSQX versus XMS KWFX QYZ NIC NHW. I'll catch typos pretty quickly because uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna stick out. KWET X K G V U See V V Y U shows up so much it's actually a little silly. Uh, J G P I E L I K I actually don't know if you guys can even hear the uh, the typing here. L K M P O B C I I W L W C O C R W O L V J O E A I Z O S G W H P D E K F L V J H. So I should totally. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's too late now, obviously, but I should totally attempt to get this episode sponsored uh, by LastPass uh, because part of the reason why we managed to crack this is because the key was so simple. So, especially as somebody who works in tech, um, I know that passwords are very important to guard. And also, if they're easy to crack, don't really help you very much. Like, we cracked this, we cracked this, but granted, there are, it, it's easier to attack this because it's supposed to make sense. Like, we could look at it and get an idea of, like, whether or not the key that we were using was reasonable. That said, the fact that the site, like the cipher isn't a good cipher. Um, it's not a bad cipher, but it's not a good cipher either. Like if, if we weren't told what cipher it was, uh, who knows how long it would have taken. Uh, that is security through obscurity at work, which security through obscurity works so long as the obscurity is in fact retained. But the reason why passwords, as we know them now, are so good is because uh, the encryption that we use doesn't require things to be sensical in the middle. It means that you have to know, you absolutely must know the entirety of the password because it has to be, it's either all right or all wrong at the end. So... It basically turns into, like, you know, if you get it right, you get it right. If you get it wrong, you, you don't get access. And then if you get locked, you're like, you know, if you try too many times, you get locked out, stuff like that. So, but here, we have the ability to, like, we knew, we figured out, based on the obscurity of this word, literally this word, this, this cannot be a mistake. They purposely put this word here so that we could, like, granted, I got it wrong to start with, okay? I got it wrong to start with. Um, but there, there are, like, now, in my head, only two options for what Alex apostrophe you could ever actually be. Uh, and that is weed and its. So we get the first three keys. And I'm pretty sure they also made it, on purpose, nine in length so that we would see bad right there. Like, and we know, oh, hey, it's nine length, right? And then because we know that it's nine length, because we know that the first the, the first three letters of the key 
we hit a couple other four letter words that suddenly make a lot of sense. Like the THI, how many words start with THI and our four letters? Uh, you know, A, Thea, Fib, Thick, but not spelled with two C's, so probably not a thing. Uh, thid, Thigh, Thif, or no, Thidge. Like, God, I need the alphabet. Uh, thea, Thib, Thick, Thid, Thigh, Thif, Thig, Thi, Thigh. I don't even know. T-H-I-I. Uh, thidge, Thick with a K this time. Thil, Thim, Thin. Okay, that's one. Theo, Thip, Thick with a Q this time. Thir, this, thit, theu, thiv, thu, thix, thy, thiz. There are two, two valid words. Exactly two. Thin and this. So, you, you've now broken down what could have been 26 options to two. That's insane. And so then when you plug those in, I started with this because thin, I don't know, thin Thin is the less commonly used word, I would imagine. This is a very common word. So it's basically a common word attack. And so you say, okay, well, if this word is this, then, and we when we do that, then we, as we said, we, we found another one that, that works. Um, I'm done typing. Uh, I've been typing, done typing for a little while. Um, but basically by by using the fact that this message needs to make sense, we figure out the solution. Now, things that would normally protect a longer password, like if the Vigineer, 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 I don't know. If, if the cipher allowed for special characters, like exclamation point, at, pound, dollar sign, percent, you know, shift number keys, or even numbers as well, like you increase the sample space exponentially. So... The square, the square is 26 by 26, right, with just letters, which is a lot of possibilities. Um, if you add special characters, it starts to get even crazier because not only uh, can we encode the letters, but we can also encode the punctuation. If this, if this apostrophe or these quotes, the commas, the periods are encoded into the message, suddenly it is almost impossible to common word attack. We never get this. We never get this. Not right off the get-go. So, like, that is one way. Expanding what the cipher can encode. Excuse me. And alternatively, just a really long password. If you have a really long password, if your password is a passphrase, because passphrases are better than passwords. So, um, oh, Jesus. The one that popped into my head is the narwhal bacons at midnight. If your password is literally just the string, a nar the, the narwhal bacons at midnight, how long is that? So, so, so uh, uh, why, why, why am I, no, I just need to type it into fucking notepad and it'll tell me. Uh, the narwhal, if I spelled that right, bacons at midnight. Uh, that is 27. That is 27 characters. How many characters are in this message? Uh, I can actually tell you. Um, 350. And that's not including spaces. So if you if you take out the spaces, I mean, hell, we could fucking encode spaces. If we encoded spaces, then it then it becomes impossible to common word attack uh, because you get spaces in, the, in in wrong places. So if I were to exclude all punctuation, which is going to take a moment. It's, yeah, it's going to take a hot moment. If, if I remove all unencodable spaces, uh, we are going to have significantly less, probably somewhere in the order of 200, which means that the number of repetitions that we get throughout uh, the message is drastically reduced. And it's those repetitions that we used to basically common word attack. So a longer password immediately cuts down on the possibilities as well, or it, it cuts down on our ability to common word attack it, um, which is nuts. 
it's truly nuts. Uh, we've reached the point where it's kind of stopped line wrapping because this is too big. Um, but let's see, I'm already down to, to 210. And I'm not done yet, so. Wait, did that? Oh, this is way more difficult than it should be. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be below 200 by the time I'm done with this. Two hundred. Oh wait, no, never mind. I was at so two hundred seventy-two. We cut out eighty characters without the punctuation. So, if we use a twenty-seven letter password, it only repeats ten times, which means we only get three clusters of discernible letters. But also, we have to pick those letters out of the crowd if we don't know the length of the key. So anyway, that is um, that. That's that basically. So anyway, since I've been done typing for forever. Let's go ahead and read through this note real fast. Oh God, we're at, oh, we're at a really long episode. Okay, so by now you already know about reality A and B, right? And being good little receivers, we want to protect ourselves in reality B. But I'm starting to suspect something. I think there is another layer to peel back here. It's all about this crazy limbo world we are in now. Think eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Maybe this place isn't just a battleground. It has a purpose. What is reality C? So, not a particularly revealing, uh, not, not a particularly revealing message, but an interesting one nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Fantastic. All right. I have copied all of the coded notes so that I will have them. I'm probably not going to, to show this being decoded. Um, but maybe I will, maybe I'll go back to it, but either way, um, this has been a super long episode. If you stuck around this far and watched this being decoded, I apologize for how shitty I type. Also, I realize one sec, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Interesting. I didn't actually decode, uh, the names. I want to decode the names. So W V C R A H M K L L R I L W K I. Transmitting hope. That one is transmitting hope. Let me go ahead and encode that. I'm just putting these in the file that I'm saving these at. Because uh, maybe maybe I will make something more on this. Uh, I've got an idea on where I'm going to put it as well. B C I N G U P F. And the answer for this one is true meaning of the world. So yeah. Uh, this has been really, really fun, really neat. Uh, I'm very curious to hopefully find the last Charlene message. Maybe we will do it next episode. Uh, as we once again, this is our second attempt at completing Awakened. And I'm very curious if this is the end of the game. Very curious. So either way, thank you guys for watching this episode. I apologize. We got so deep into the weeds on this uh, decoding thing. Uh, there's really no particular reason as well. Um, I guess more just my curiosity. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. I will see you next time. And until then, keep your gears turned.